It is a beautiful day. I am so excited. How many of you could use an attitude of overcoming? You want to just get out there and overcome the situations in your life. Well, hang in there because we're going to talk about Philippians 4.13 and it says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Hallelujah. You know, we live in a negative world. We're swimming in negative things. People are believing negative. They're talking negative. They're thinking negative. And God calls us to a higher level. We ought not to be rolling around in that stuff. We ought to have an attitude that says, listen, I'm an overcomer. I can do what I need to do because God is strengthening me every day. Do you know when Paul wrote this scripture, he had every right to be moaning and groaning and complaining. He was in a terrible situation. He was in a horrible, uh, horrible prison. The circumstances were awful. And yet, and yet he said, I'm going to put these words together for you because I want you to understand it may look like I'm defeated. It may, it may look like to the world, like I'm never going to amount to anything, but I'm telling you, I've got an overcoming attitude. It's what we can have. Listen to this. It, it, he says in here, I can do. That's the first three words. That is a phrase from the, like in the classical Greek writings, they would use that to denote the power of the gods. And so it meant that you are operating superior to a normal human. You're operating on a different level than the rest of these people. And, and you can, you can uh, be victorious in everything. It kind of gives you the upper hand. That's what it's talking about here. And then the word that it, they use is ix, it, iscuous, iscuous. And it goes on and he says, I can do all things. I can do all things. How many things? all things through Christ, which strengthens me. That word for all things, that is an all encompassing word. And it means everything and excludes nothing. So that means there's nothing that you cannot overcome with Christ. And, and this word also is saying you can go down to the smallest, most minute detail of every situation, it's already covered. It's already covered. God's got you. He's got that covered. And if you've walked with God very long, you know that God is all about the details. He's a detail man. And boy, he just keeps us going and going. If I were going to interpret this, here's one of the interpretations. I have the iscuous power operating me in me, and it causes me to be superior. I'm a champion. I'm a victor. The iscuous gives me the upper hand in every situation I face, and it causes me to prevail in every circumstance. Well, then he goes on and he says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me, strengthens me. That's the, ver the word I want you to hear. He strengthens me. Well, the word strengthen, remember me talking uh, before, I use this phrase a lot, so I'm, I know I've used it on here, but the word dunamis, we see that in Ephesians 3.20, now unto him who's able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think according to the power. That word power is dunamis. Well, this word is coming from that base root word. And so it means that we have the force of an entire army behind us every time we step out the door and step into a situation, a complete army. And so he was declaring this type of power was in him at that moment in time. He said, it may look like defeat. It may look like I can't go any further, but I tell you that's a lie from the pits of hell because I got iscuous power operating in me. Listen to this. I have iscuous power. It's another way of translating this. Operating in me, it causes me to be a champion. This iscuous, this iscuous, is always on my side, and through Christ, I can overcome anything with an army coming up behind me, 
army coming up behind me. You're not by yourself. I'm not by myself. So whatever we face, we need to know I can be superior in this situation. I can be a champion. It doesn't matter what it looks like now. It doesn't matter what it feels like. I tell you, God is on the throne and God is going to get us through this. Anybody in here need an entire army coming up behind you? Well, I know how to do it. Just fall back on that verse. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Woo! Yes, sir, buddy. I can do it. I can do her. <laughs> Rather than let your mind convince you that you can't, stop listening to it and read that scripture over and over again. Put it on the refrigerator. Tattoo it on your forehead. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. But you can do all things through Christ, which strengthens you. So I want you to, we're going to pray. I want to pray for you because some of you are really going through some tough stuff. Just remember Paul. He didn't give up because he knew he had the upper hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the message this morning. I love this. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for giving it to me. Now, Father, I pray that every person under the sound of my voice will be blessed, will be encouraged, and will go forward in power and might. And Lord, you send that army right behind them, the army of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you know the rules. Same time, same station, tomorrow morning.